Hi, I'm Cheyenne. Welcome back to Cheyenne Reads. I'm not sure really what I want to call my channel anymore, but I know I want to make a comeback and I know I want to post bookish content still. Right now I'm reading Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover and I recently went on a Colleen Hoover dive and wanting to read her books after reading Heartbones. So I immediately pre-ordered Reminders of Him when I heard it was being released this week, so it got delivered at my house yesterday and I was planning on dropping everything to read it, but I just decided, hmm, let me continue with the plans I had already set and then start it today. So, so far I'm like 40 pages into it and I really want to finish it right now actually, but I need to work out. Um, I also need to get my school back together because today is my first day. Um, at a new college. Now I'm gonna read reminders of him on my commute and let's just see what happens. Hi everyone, it's day two of the vlog um, and I'm about 96 pages into <laughs> reminders of him and I thought I'd update you now when I know a little bit more about the book and what's going on because to be completely honest with you, I purchased this book without even really knowing what it was about. I just know that I really enjoyed Heartbones and from here on out I'm like okay I'm gonna read every Colleen Newer book that I can get my hands on and this is a new release the cover is pretty I want it <laughs> anyways the book is about a mother named Kenna a mother named Kenna okay <laughs> let's back it up a little bit about a girl named Kenna who fell in love with this guy named Scotty and somehow she ends up serving five years in prison because of a tragic mistake that happened. While she's in prison, she ends up having a baby and that baby is taken away from her because it happened at the beginning of her sentence and her rights were terminated as a mother. And so now we're watching Kenna get out of prison and come back to Scotty's hometown, her ex that she accidentally killed. And we're seeing her fight for her daughter or try to at least she's saving up money she's really poor and we get to meet ledger who is kenna's ex's best friend so scotty's best friend at the time lifelong best friend and it's like all this commotion and like i'm in tears in some scenes and like what i just read right now i'll read you it Roman takes a step closer. She's responsible for the accidental death of someone she was in love with. As if that wasn't hard enough, she went to prison for it and was forced to give up her own child. She finally shows back up hoping to meet her and you do God's know what with her in her truck and then you prevent her from meeting her daughter and then you tell her to fuck off. No wonder you've been slamming shit around all night. He walks back up the steps but before slamming but before he goes inside, he turns to me and says, You're the reason why I'm not dead in a ditch somewhere, Ledger. You gave me a chance when everyone else gave up on me. You have no idea how much I look up to you for that, but it's really hard to look up to you right now. You're acting like an asshole. And so just reading that, I was in tears. Um, I'm really empathizing with Kenna right now, but I'm also really empathizing with Scotty and his family and Ledger. I feel like I don't have the full story of what happened that night. Kenna kind of briefly mentions it a couple of chapters ago. It's so hard to look at Kenna the same way that Grace and Patrick, Scotty's parents, look at her. And seeing from their perspective, since I'm not reading the book from their perspective, and reading Kenna write these letters to Scotty and she's been writing them for like the last five years, I don't know, I just feel like I haven't heard her side of the story and she seems really remorseful. Like even if it was accidental manslaughter, she just seems so remorseful or involuntary manslaughter, I don't know what the term is. She seems so remorseful and I think holding her and keeping her away from her daughter, what is that going to solve? It's literally just thinking about the fact that I don't know how to talk about books without spoiling them. Like anytime I tell somebody about a book, I have to be like, oh, this and this happened. He did this and she cheated on him and he stepped on her toe. Like, I can't just say I enjoyed this book. I had really good things in it. Like, that sounds boring. I don't know. I just need to spill the beans. I really do. I need to spill the tea. Like, you need to know what happened. You need to feel my pain. 
Anyways, it's just a side note. <laughs> so that's how this vlog might turn out. Just a warning. <laughs> And it's much later in the day. I posted a few TikToks. Um, I hung out with my boyfriend, made myself breakfast, ate a snack, gonna make dinner soon. Right now I'm watching Naomi from Naomi's Libraries reading sprints. Um, it's been a fun time. We just finished up the first sprint. Um, looks like she's still talking to people in the comments, so that's cool. Uh, I read 31 pages in the last sprint and I'm at page 153. I know you're probably wondering why is her glasses off, but it's nighttime, so I'm using my um, ring light, and I don't like the little reflection in the glasses, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I'm on page 155, actually, so that's super cool. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's really sad. It's really heartbreaking. Um, I don't think I full-on cried, but I have teared up, and I've been, like, stirred, like, emotionally, like... The emotions are there for sure you know what i mean um i don't want to give too much more of the book away but like what i can say right now is that i want the best for kenna and dm like also ledger and scotty's parents and i said that before but i really want the best for them i wish that scotty's parents would just talk to kenna and i'm really hoping that i get to see that in the book where they do get to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation about things that happened since it did happen five years ago um i'm really hoping for that i really like this book though and i think it was definitely worth the pre-order um i got it for like 11 dollars and like what 95 cents so i guess 12 dollars with taxes maybe 13 i think it was definitely worth it i'm glad i purchased it i feel like colleen hoover is definitely a writer that i can writer author whatever i can like get into their books immediately like they read so easily and it's almost always a good time the only book that I felt like I didn't really enjoy was it ends with us and that was because like at the time it just wasn't right for me like um just some of the things that happened in it was super triggering at the time for me and so um maybe I'll pick that back up again eventually and read it with a refreshed mind especially now knowing that it's about her mother and her mother's story but yeah, I really enjoyed like Ugly Love. I really liked um, Heart Bones. Obviously, that's my number one. Um, I liked Verity. Um, now I've read Reminders of Him. And I actually have All Your Perfects. And I have it right over here. And I really want to pick that up. Hold on. I just picked up All Your Perfects from the library like a little bit over a couple weeks ago. And I haven't gotten to it. I've just been really nervous about reading her work. But like after reading Reminders of Him and all her other books, I'm just like, this is somebody I know I'm most likely going to like their books. So I have All Your Perfects, which I'm excited to read. Um, can a love story with perfect beginnings survive a lifetime between two imperfect people? And I heard this one is like really emotionally driven too and like really tear jerking as well. And like it might break my heart or something like that. I go into her books without knowing too much. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm enjoying my experience with reminders of him. So it has to be a good thing today. Um, I also picked up Without Merit by Colleen Hoover. And once again, I don't know um, what this is about. Um, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing like a vlog of me reading like some of Colleen Hoover's books, including All Your Perfects and Without Merit, maybe even Maybe Someday um, by Colleen Hoover. Um, I'm so interested in romance right now. Honestly, nothing gets me wanting to read more than romance books. I don't know. So I'll update you guys once again when um, maybe I finish the book because I want to tonight. I'm done. I've been holding back tears for like the last couple chapters breaking my heart, truly. 
just completely wrecked right now. Like, I don't even, I don't even know what's. I have no words. Hey, the next day, I cried out all my tears. At least I think I did, but I finished reminders of him last night and I was just completely like pooped out. Um, five out of five stars, that, that is my rating. I cried, um, I laughed at certain parts. The small, m tiny little parts where there was romance, but I don't really think this was a romance for me. Like yes, I had a happily ever after, but so much of it was just like trauma and just pain and just everything and like not only not that i ate it up but like i just flew through the book i don't even know what to say about it ken has been on my mind since i first started reading this like i maybe read like 30 pages the first time i read it a couple days ago and then yesterday i just flew through it i stayed up until like midnight i was in sprints like i don't know this book is everything Colleen was everything, guys. Literally, like, ah, just thinking about Kenna, just thinking about Scotty and Ledger. I don't, no words, truly no words. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, and I'll be live tomorrow on Saturday. Um, so if you wanna see me live, if you wanna read with me, I don't even know what I'm gonna be reading, uh, tune in, bye.